In Access, you can create a field that holds multiple values. A multi-valued field is a lookup field. A lookup field is a field in a table whose value is retrieved from another table or from a value list. For example, if a flower has many colors, you can store them in the same field. To create a multi-valued field, open the table in Design View, enter a field name, click in the Data Type column and select Lookup Wizard. The Lookup Wizard creates two types of lists depending on the choices you make in the wizard. You can get the values from another table or type the values. Select I will type in the values that I want and then click on Next. Enter the values in the column and click on Next. To limit the entries to the choices in the list, check Limit to List. Under Do you want to store multiple values for this lookup, select the Allow Multiple Values checkbox and then click on Finish. Save the changes. Open the table. Click in the Colors field. Select the values you want to enter in the row and click on OK. Selected values are displayed as comma separated values. You can also create a multi-valued field using values from another table. For example, if several employees are working on the same project, create a multi-valued field assigned to to assign multiple employees to a project. Open the table projects in design view. Enter assigned to in the field name. Select lookup field in the data type column. Select I want the lookup field to get values from another table or query and then click on next. Select the table or query that contains the values in this example employees. Click on next. Select first name and last name and click on next. This is the display value which is displayed when you are adding values in the field. Select a sort order for the fields when displayed in a list and then click on Next. Adjust the width of the column to make the values easier to read. If the table has a primary key, it automatically becomes the bound value. This is the value that is stored in the multi-valued field. It is called bound value. The bound value is used in query criteria and in joins. Here employee ID is the bound value. It is looked up in the source table and replaced with first name and last name when you need to display a multi-valued field. If you want to display the key column, uncheck hide key column. It becomes part of the display value. Check hide key column. Click on next. Select allow multiple values. Click on finish. Save the table. A join is created between the bound value and the display value. Click on database tools and click on relationships. A relationship between employees and projects is created. Open the table projects. Click in the assign to field. Select the values. Click on OK. The values in the first column are displayed separated by commas. You can delete the multi-valued field in the same way as any other field. In Datasheet view, right click on column name and select delete field. Or in design view, right click on the field and select delete rows. If you want to delete a multi-valued field where the lookup values come from other table, you must delete the relation between the field and the table first. Click on OK. In the Database Tools tab, click on Relationships. 
right click on the join line select delete click on s right click in the assign to field select delete rows click on s the field is deleted save the table if you like this video please subscribe to our channel